meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so the Lord of glory be with you. And the Lord bless you, and you, and you. We come now to a time when we say sorry to God for those things we've said or done, which if we really think about it, we shouldn't have done really. So let's just now begin those prayers that we're so familiar with as we say our confession together. For all the times we make you feel sad, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we are angry and grumpy, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we are rude or naughty, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we deliberately disobey, we want to say sorry, Lord. For the times when we are selfish or unkind, we want to say sorry, Lord. For all the wrong we do, things we do, Lord, wipe away our sins. Amen. And so we receive God's forgiveness. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us when we get things wrong and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, hello. Welcome to our final Lenten reflection. Thinking about this week, though, how we treat others. We're going to start by playing a game and we have some volunteers to help us with this. Now, as you can see, each helper has a box, but one of these boxes has a bell in it. Your job is to guess which box has the bell in it. Is it the box our first volunteer is holding? Or maybe the bell is in the box of our second helper? Or perhaps you think it's the last person who's got box number three. Now, do you want to have a guess as to who you think it is? It's pretty hard to tell. Okay, so one at a time, I'm going to ask the children to turn around and you listen carefully to see if you can hear that bell. So, did that help? Has your guess changed? Maybe we need them to do something that requires a bit more movement. Maybe to sit down and stand up again. So, who do you think it is? Maybe we should get them to do something a bit more energetic. Maybe star jumps. So, do you think you know now? Most of us probably could have a really good guess as to who it was. What gave the person away? It was of course the sound their box made when they completed their action. There is a phrase that goes, actions speak louder than words. What this means is, when we do something, that act is like a bell in a box, giving us a way, telling the world what kind of person we are. How we behave and what we say shows the world what kind of people we are. Now, we all have bad days and we don't get it all right all of the time. But I wonder what you think your actions say about you. Now, I'd like to finish our video today with this challenge before we pray. In a moment, pause the video and come up with an ark. Not a Noah's ark, an ark, a random act of kindness to complete in this next week. Maybe you could let your teacher know your ideas and perhaps they could th pick three of those ideas for the whole class to complete. It could be anything from smiling at someone who doesn't have a smile of their own or surprising someone with a lovely present.
So we come now to our time of prayer. And if you'd like to put your hands together, maybe close your eyes, we'll pray together. Dear God, help us to remember that what we do and say can be seen in so many different ways. Help us to share a random act of kindness with others, the kindness that only you can help us bring. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And so we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your kingdom come. Your will be done, your will be done. On earth as in heaven, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom. For the kingdom. The power. The power. And the glory. And the glory. Are yours. Are yours. Now and forever. Now and forever. Amen. And so we go with God's blessing. May God fill us all with joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Spread joy and peace wherever you go. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.